Ribs. Most of us have them, but have we really experienced true ribby goodness? Of course, I'm talking about the elusive menu item from McDonald's, a sticky, sweet, glazed, boneless rack of ribs served on a bed of onions and pickles and sandwiched between two pieces of perfectly shaped buns, the McRib. Assalamu alaikum guys, my name is Yusuf, a professional chef and I spend my time teaching people how to cook online. Made Halal is a series brought to Freshly Grounded where we take foods from around the world that might not necessarily be halal and we give them to you made halal. On today's episode of Made Halal, we are looking at the McRib. This is not something that you'll see often on the McDonald's menu, but it's quite rare and when it does come out, it's always quite a big hit. Effectively, we're talking about a boneless, barbecued rib sandwich. Oof, it sounds so good. And we're gonna recreate it here today, made halal. Now starting off with the actual ribs, I was initially going to go with beef ribs, which would have been a lot better, giving us more meat and making it a lot sort of juicier. But I realized that beef ribs aren't exactly the most, you know, attainable kind of beef. If you go to your local butchers, they're not likely to have a rack of beef ribs cut and ready for you to cook. And so I thought, you know what, let's do it with lamb ribs. It'll just be so much more accessible. And that's what cooking is all about, really making things a lot simpler. So we started with our beef ribs. As you can see, one side is covered with a large amount of fat. I'm just gonna use my knife and carefully just sort of remove some of it. I'm not going to remove all of it because fat is flavor but too much fat can kind of ruin it. So I'm going to cut around two-thirds of the fat off before flipping it over and taking a look at the other side. Now this might look completely normal but there's sort of a layer of sinew that kind of covers the back bones and it has a really sort of papery weird kind of feel to it. As you peel it off if you reach into the corner of the bone and just start picking at it you'll actually be able to pull the sinew and it should come off. It will literally make a tearing sound like as if you're tearing paper off and it will look like plastic but it's not. It's actually part of the animal and it's a good idea just to rip it off. It just makes it easier when you're pulling the bones out as well and once you rip it off we can go ahead and season it. Now my seasoning mix here contains a mixture of salt, black pepper, brown sugar, oregano, some garlic powder, onion powder and some chili powder as well. Of course you can absolutely use a pre-made seasoning of your choice. I'm just going to give it a really nice sprinkle all over on both sides packing that in and making sure that no side is uncovered from the seasoning. Then I'm going to wrap it in foil nice and tight and, and stick it in the oven about 170 degrees for about say four hours should do the trick. It's going to create a lovely amount of steam inside of it allowing the meat to fall off the bone. Now once this is done you're going to take it out of the oven and just gently pull the bones out you want to try and keep that general shape so don't tear it apart just twist the bones and they should come straight out there will be the bones which are obviously the ribs which are going to run along it and then there's also a large bone that keeps everything attached you want to just carefully twist and remove all of these pieces i'm going to set that to one side while we make our sauce in order to make this i'm going to combine some ketchup worcestershire sauce maple syrup and some hot sauce in a pan cooking that up just so that it sort of heats up a bit uh, some of the vinegar can burn off and it reduces into a nice glaze and i'm going to glaze the boneless ribs sticking them back in the oven for about five to ten minutes on a higher heat maybe about 180 190 just to give it a really nice golden sort of caramelized crust while that's in the oven we can go ahead and prep our onions all i'm going to simply do is take half an onion and slice it very very finely just to create nice sort of pieces and I'm going to take a pickle and slice it lengthways so that it has sort of nice long thin strips. Now in terms of our bun, now the McDonald's McRib is served on a sort of hoagie roll. It's like uh, it's covered in sesame. I wanted to make our sandwich a little bit bigger. So what I've done is I've taken a pack of just simple buns. I've trimmed it to the size of the meat. And I made a very simple mixture using a bit of melted butter, some sesame seeds and some garlic granules. Giving it a mix, brushing it over the top and then placing the two halves in the oven just so that they can get nice and toasty. So once they're nice and crispy, we're gonna take it out and then layer on some of the excess barbecue sauce we have on the base before placing the mound of beautiful golden ribs just on top, topping the whole thing off with onions and gherkins and sandwiching it up and that looks perfect. All that's left now is to cut it in half and have a look at the beautiful cross section that comes from it. Okay, so I'm here with Faisal, we're back in the studio. Let's give this thing a try, shall we? I've got my handy fork, ready? <laughs> I'm just gonna use my hands. Oh, okay. I'm mm. going to use a fork. Use a fork because you're dignified. I'm ready. Bismillah. Bismillah. That is delicious. Mm. Talk us through it. What are, you, what are you tasting? So, first of all, I'm just going to remove the gherkins. <laughs> I'm, not sure. I'm not a huge gherkin fan. Sure, sure, sure. But, okay. My analysis, my non-chef analysis of that is that the rib very soft mm. very succulent 
uh, the flavor is beautiful. That sauce has a sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. It's not dry in any way, shape or form. And there's no fattiness. The thing that puts me off meat normally is when you taste the fat. Overall, a, per a great uh, meal. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's basically like you said, like cause of how, how soft the meat is, we cooked it for four hours. When you think about it, we didn't actually do a lot. It was probably the quickest one we've done, right? It's a very simple concept. You just take a piece of meat, you cook it nicely, put some nice sauce on it, put it in a sandwich. It's a meat sandwich. What, what it's more, amazing how, more simply, how simple it is, yet it tastes so great.